Let's write a program to find if user input number is positive, negative or it's zero using macros. So what's the logic? If user enter number is greater than zero, then it's positive number. If user enter number is less than zero, then it's negative. If both of these conditions are false, then it must be zero, right? So let me ask the user to input a number and store it inside the address of integer variable num. Here I'll write macro and pass the user entered number. Now let us define this macro that is sign and pass it the user entered number which is num. So inside its macro expansion let me write ternary operator. So let me write nested ternary operator. So in the else part whatever I write it's nested ternary. So if user entered number is greater than zero then let me print that it's positive printf I'll just print positive so else those let me bring this line of code down by using macro continuation operator which is backslash so the whole thing is nested ternary operator here so the condition if num is less than zero that means it's negative I'll print out the message negative so if both of these conditions are false, then obviously the user input number is zero. So printf zero. So ironic that I have, uh, I'm, I'm asking, asking the user to enter a positive number, which is wrong. Uh, you could write enter a number, that's it. So phi is positive by the way. You could change that code by the way. So I'll give I'll give minus two oops minus two which is negative. So now let me give zero. So it should output zero as result. So this is how we make use of macros to find if user input number is positive, negative, or zero using macros and ternary operators. So Please visit the link present in the description section of this YouTube video for source code notes and discussion about this topic. Please stay subscribed to our YouTube channel and blog. Um, share this video with your friends on WhatsApp, Telegram, LinkedIn, Twitter, Facebook, etc. And please do not forget to like this video on YouTube. Thank you.